Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to this new game that I'm going to be featuring on my channel from time to time. Uh, there were one of you, or a couple of you, I think, in my Discord who recommended that I check out this game, Kingdoms and Castles, and I did watch a couple videos on it, and uh, I did say that it kind of looked like medieval Minecraft uh, to an extent but it still looked pretty fun so I did purchase it on Steam and I'm going to give it a try and we'll probably do like a I don't know a 20 minute or 30 minute video on uh, just starting up a new kingdom and then if you guys really enjoy that I might make it into a little mini series maybe once a week we'll we'll jump into kingdoms and castles and and play a bit of that so yeah let me know how you guys think uh, couple of announcements as well. My tournament is full. I've got 16 players now, so as soon as we hit 900 subscribers, I will begin the uh, tournament battles and hopefully be updating every week or so with a new tournament battle until I hit uh, 1,000 subs, and then that's when I'll release the final battle in the Medieval Kingdoms tournament. And another update, if you guys are wondering why my voice sounds a little weird, I've actually got a, a cold. Um, as Gearhawk would point it, the man cold, probably. I am definitely dying here with my little snuffy nose and <laughs> sore throat and everything. But uh, sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've just been really busy with school as well. And then I planned this weekend to get a bunch of recording done. And of course, I've got a cold. So uh, we're going to power through it as best we can. And uh, let me know how the sound uh, is for you guys in the comments section. I will go ahead back and re-listen to this video as well to make sure that my voice, along with the Kingdoms and Castles soundtrack, is balanced um, appropriately. I did uh, take a little listen to it, and it seemed to be fine, but uh, we'll find out after the end. But uh, that's enough talking for me, so we'll just start a new battle. And uh, I actually haven't even loaded into this game at all, really, to try it yet, so... I don't really want to do no threats, because I think there's supposed to be, like, invasions that come every once in a while. Um, I don't think that I can do the the hard version, though. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to handle that. Uh, so let's just go for the middle easy route for the first uh, option. And it's just telling me move keys, which is fine, rotate. So it's basically the same as... As total war keys, and then I can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, which is good. Is this the land we chose, though? I don't know if I really like this. Oh, can we change this? Yeah, it looks like we can actually change it. I'm going to try my hardest not to be uh, sniffing into the microphone for you guys to hear as well. Uh, that, that looks kind of cool. But I kind of want something a little more open, if possible. Something can allow for, like, a massive castle to be built. Uh... Oh, man, I'm gonna be super... P okay, actually, that... That's kind of cool. I think we'll go with this one because we can kind of colonize this mainland as basically the main part of the city. And then, oops, I'm actually typing into the terrain seed there. And then we can make this little other island here actually a keep of some kind, maybe, uh, with extra high walls and such. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect with this game. So if I suck, I do apologize. Uh, banner. That orange banner looks pretty cool. Let's just go for that one. Okay, so here we are. Alright. Um, okay, so we've got our resources here at the bottom, of which we have nothing yet, which makes sense, because we're just starting to found a, a town. Um, so where do I want to start? There's a lot of big rocks over here. There's some rocks over here as well. Now, are these all for my unusable stone? Okay. So we're probably going to have to get rid of that. Stone available for quarry. So there's a lot of unusable stone here. Oh, we got some iron as well. So I take it we will be able to get rid of that unusable stone, hopefully. 
because otherwise that kind of sucks that it's like right in the middle of everything. But I guess this is kind of more open for us to start. So I guess we start with this keep here. Uh, I guess it's not really smart to start with the keep over there, so I guess we'll just plop this right in the center. Uh, right there, I guess. Okay. Looks like we've got five people here at our city. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we can build here. So we've got some gates, walls, there's the different towers, treasury room. So to assume that allows for taxation. Got barracks, great hall, moat. And we have roads, bridges, hovels. Okay, so we're probably going to need some houses right off the bat. But I think these are my advisors. We'll need farms to feed your workers. Roads and houses. And the military chick's not saying anything to me right now, which is probably a good idea because... I'm probably not going to be building a military for a little while. Okay, so he wanted... He wanted us to build some farms. But I think we're going to start with... I think we should start with um, some houses. So I think I'm going to put my houses over on this side. I'm going to try and turn away from the mic if I have to... Do that disgusting sniff. Okay, so how much are these hovels? Five. Okay. Um, how do I rotate? R. Rotate. That makes sense. Okay, so... I guess it automatically faces them the right way. Let's just put a little hovel there. We have one idea of villagers, so can I cut these trees down? Yeah, okay, so let's... Set him to cut these trees down here. I have no idea if we need a stockpile. Because like, I think I saw a stockpile. So is that probably something we're going to need? Small stockpile. Stores resources. But doesn't our keep store resources, I'd imagine? Oh, well, everybody's super happy. So this kingdom must be amazing already. So yeah, we're just cutting a bunch of wood. Probably should get... Do you have like a stone mine, a quarry over here? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. They're giving us like plus two food every time they... Or sorry, plus two wood every time they chop a tree down. So I should probably save for a quarry so that we can use up some of the stone over here. I wonder if this... Uh... Does this stone run out, I wonder? Stone available for quarry. What does the unusable stone look... Oh, okay, yeah, if you zoom out, you can tell which one's the unusable stone and which one is the uh, usable. But we have 16, so we should be able to get a stone quarry. What's the problem now? Oh, too far away from the roads. Okay. Okay. Well, should we... We should probably build some farms, actually, is what I'm thinking. And these are too far away from the road, so what if I build it over here? Soil here, either naturally fertile or getting irrigation. So we can build some farms here, actually. But do I really want to build it there? And then those two you can't. Oh, that's that's going to annoy me. Maybe we should just build... Build some more roads, I guess? To be able to... get these roads over here to our farms. This looks like we have farms and orchards. 
farms can be ruined by flooding. Man, there's flooding in this game? I feel like the natural disasters in this game are just going to be brutal. But, okay, forget that. Let's uh, continue to chop these trees. Do I have to select every tree? Like, feel, feel free, guys, for those of you guys that do play this game to give me some tips and tricks, but... I'm wondering if there's, like, a quick way to do this, or if I, like, literally have to select every tree to chop down. Okay, uh, we probably could build our quarry. No, we don't have enough wood yet. And... Four people visited, but no one could find homes. Well, you know... Our town is very exclusive, so... Don't know if we just want to open up our town to just anyone. Let's put the quarry over there. Um, oh, we don't have anybody. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to get some more of these little tiny houses here. Is that all I can afford? One more house? Okay. This is probably going to be slow going. I guess we maybe we can bump it up just a little bit. Just to get some progress. And meanwhile, I'll just keep selecting all these trees for them to chop down. Uh, what happens when we run out of trees, though? Like, they're only giving me, like, two wood every time. I guess there is quite a bit of, of trees on this little map, but... While they're doing that, I'm just going to uh, sit back and admire my kingdom, take a sip of some tea here. Alright, so we are in year three. And it looks like they are getting to work on that stone quarry, is, which is good. But we should probably look at getting some of these going. Huh. See, because the problem, too, is that I'm going to have to build walls, I would assume, here eventually if we're going to be attacked. So I could build, like, four farms here. What's this? Charcoal maker. Why do we need charcoal? Heating, cooking, and smithing produces smoke nearby homes won't like. What do they... wants access to charcoal. But I thought this just said that it didn't want it near a house. Produces smoke nearby homes won't like. Okay, so I guess it has to be like close but not too close type thing? Well, how about if I just put it on the other side of this little smithy here? Or, sorry, not this... What is this called? This quarry? Which has one out of four workers. All right, so we probably need to build some more houses. That's probably what he's going to tell tell us. Hmm. Yeah, and he's like, oh, we have no food for this city at all. All right. Um, I mean, I'm going to leave a space here because I saw that you can build wells, and that's probably, yeah, we don't want fire spreading everywhere in our in our city, so as soon as we get 10 stone, we're actually going to invest in putting a little well right there. But, for now, we need to kind of make a decision on this food here, so. So, let's put another road here. And I've got one, two, three, four, five.
Let's just put four farms in a block like that. And then we'll probably need somewhere to store it, so we're gonna need this little granary here. How big is that? Well, I can't even see how big it is right now. But yeah, we may have to delete those farms eventually if we want to build walls here, because I don't think we can build build walls on the water, and I don't know... Maybe I could delete that farm to cut the corner, but... Or I guess we could actually just wall off here and have our farms outside the wall. That That might be an option. But, so now we need to save up five stone for a granary. But we also need ten stone for a well. And there's two workers here now, which is good, though. Oh, apologies, guys. If this if, if this is too bad, the this, this snipping, if it's too loud, uh, I could just refrain from doing videos until I feel better. But I feel bad. You guys haven't had a video out for... A while aside from my tournament announcement video. I think the last video I uploaded was like on Tuesday I've uh, just been crazy busy lately. I do have a good 12-12 siege that I uh, Depending on how my voice is hopefully I can upload it maybe tomorrow or possibly Sunday hmm. All right, yeah, this guy's still obviously not happy that we Don't have any food. I am working on it. Trust me. Looks like we missed uh, that tree there. But it's good that people are still working on the forest, chopping them down, making more room. Good, good, good. Should probably build another hovel, actually. How much were they? Five wood? Yeah. Although, what? There you go. How much was it for the road? Oh, one, one wood? I can do that. That's fine. I kind of feel bad, though, because when I play these games, I always try to think, like, like, 50 years ahead, and this is almost just driving me nuts that I have, like, little peasant huts, like, right, right next to my keep, but I guess it's pretty unavoidable this time, but... That's why it was really so ineffective when I used to play Age of Empires 2. Uh, in single player, it was great, because I just made these massive, organized, well-built structures with eight walls on one side of the gate and eight walls on the other side of the gate, and it was great. But then you try to bring that into multiplayer, where everybody just kind of throws things, you know, where they're supposed to go without any worry whether it's even or looks nice. Uh, I really struggled. <laughs> We got six stones, so is that enough for our granary? It is. And this thing is massive. Wow. Okay, so we'll... That's a small granary, too. Or granary. I don't really know why I'm calling it a granary, but... So we even have a... We have a large granary, or just a basic granary. Three people visited, only two found a home. Well, I'm building another home right now, as you can see. Peasants are starving. Hmm. Try examining a house to see how we can improve peasants' conditions. Well, what's your problem? No access to a well. Well, guys, like, I'm, I'm working on it. Just waiting for the stone to be mined, and then I'll give you a well. Just, just put this to two speed if we need. Yeah, we need people to get to work on these farms. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. Because, yeah, we have zero food, and it looks like it's starting to snow, so if the winter is coming, uh, that could be bad news. This guy's probably hmm. screaming at you. <laughs> They worry about food for the winter. Well, you know what? So do I, because I don't have any food to eat as well in the winter time in my lovely keep. Six stone. Come on. Like, when I go to start building 
15. Wow. Yeah, we're going to need to get a ton of quarries going. If we're going to be able to wall off everything. But actually, it looks like this is an iron mine, so we should be able to put a quarry basically right next to it. What's this stockpile for? Is this for like for like all this wood here? I guess we have no place to put it. I'm trying to think, like, because we got all the nice little neighborhoods over here, so it'd probably be good with all the industry if we put it over here. Could probably put a stockpile there. But we just need one more one more stone to be able to build a well. Come on. Yeah, there it is. All right. Ah, so it shows like area of effect type thing. Okay. So we have a well over here, so we're probably going to need another well over here just to keep things from burning down. But for right now, we'll plop that there. Hmm. Peasants are starving. Well, we're building the granary. You can see that's what we're doing, right? And look at this. This peasant is, uh, he's working. Five food per year, really. Ooh. That kind of sucks. All right, well, let's take a look at what other, these other buildings do. So improves, it improves productivity of farms. Oh. So it might be prudent to get one of those built. That actually might not be a bad idea. Then, okay, what's this? A baker. Wheat and charcoal turns to bread. Okay. Market. Uh, that's probably buy and sell stuff. Noria. Provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. Oh, okay, so I guess we can get some aqueducts going around. Maybe be able to, like, if we need some more farmland over here that's in the center. I think that's what what this means, because we got some fertile lands, and then we got uh, some that is barren. But if we use the aqueducts, maybe we can bring it over, and then we can actually have farms more towards the center. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And our granary is almost done. It's waiting for one more wood and here comes the guy now to bring the last piece of wood to build that. There we go. Nice. And we should be able to just throw a bunch of a bunch of food in there. That's perfect. And the well is under construction. Don't have any idle villagers, which is good. I don't know who's still chopping wood. But this poor guy has to walk a really long way just to get the wood to the places that we're building. Let's go ahead and put some more roads in, though. Hang on. Did I do that wrong? No, I think that's right. No one available to work on your construction. Well, because... Oh, good. That's filled. Okay, yeah. See, we're starting to get people for our farms. Excellent. Oh, what is this now? What do they want? Okay. Peasants are starving. What is What is this? Do they want bread? Is that what they're asking for? Too far away or none available of the charcoal. Makes two per day. So we're probably going to need another charcoal. What does this guy want here? Can I select this guy? Hungry. House has no food. Well, I mean, like, I can try and put some orchards down if you guys are so hungry. Oh, there you go. There's there's an influx of food. It just looks like it's being used up. 
really fast. So I can, like, build another four over here if we really wanted. Let's build... Oops. Oh, I'm out of wood now. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, more farms could help while I'm trying to do that, except I'm out of wood. They think I'm an excellent ruler, but weren't they just starving five minutes ago? Mm. Yeah, they're starving, but I'm, I'm doing great, apparently. <laughs> well, look at this little town here. This is really nice. I like this. I'm just finishing up building the roads, which is good. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness, I have nothing to defend against this, though. This is bad news. Mm. How overpowered are these dragons? Hmm. Sire, did you see the dragon? Perhaps we should build some defenses in case it... Oh, okay, so I guess it was just throwing its weight around a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, bet you didn't know there was dragons in this game. So, okay, so she wants me to build some defenses. But I have no wood. No wood at all. Well, we need to get some people chopping trees down so that we can build some defenses then. Gonna need five to get another hovel. But then I need five to make a tower. And gold for the archer tower. Ooh, okay, so I'm probably gonna have to start taxing people. And I'm gonna need 50 stone and 10 wood for the treasure room. So actually we might have to do that first. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, you are brutal. I am trying as hard as I can to get a surplus in food. So that costs three. And we've already used it on something. We we're building something, I guess. There you go. Look, they're they're bringing all the food to their homes. There you go. In pantry. One out of seven in pantry. Oh, in here, seven out of seven, though. So I guess some people are eating really well and some not so much. How much does this granary have in here? Fifteen. Okay, so I think we're slowly, slowly pulling back, which is good. Food store's running low. Yeah, well, it's the way she goes, isn't it? <laughs> Raise taxes at a treasure room? Uh, what if I had a treasure room, my friend? Hey, you, come here. Okay, I need, I need some uh, wood, though. Can you come chop this tree for me? No, you're just gonna do your own thing, eh? This charcoal has two out of three workers. Let's just close that for now so that they'll go cut some cut some wood down for me. I really need as much wood as I can get right now. Especially, like, I don't know when that dragon's gonna return, but that's made me a little bit nervous. Oh, man, I hate colds. They're the worst. Worst thing in the world. 
even more than mm. the hunger that my peasants are experiencing right now. I have a cold. Alright, okay, good. So we're getting some... Getting some more wood, which is good. So let's get another house. We can get some more people in here. So that I can build some more farms. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at the stores there. That granary is just filling up with food. And these pantries are looking pretty full as well, which is excellent. still have some charcoal, even though it's closed down, which is good. So, I think my next move is to get that treasury room so we can start getting some archer towers. And I think if we faced it like that would be pretty good. Just have it like expand it off the side there. This guy's gonna be like, nobody's building that. You don't have enough people. Production halted. Can't store any more stone. Need a stockpile. Mmm. Okay. Well. Industry. Small stockpile. I don't want to put that because that's where the iron mine's supposed to go. Um, stockpile, stockpile. Maybe buy these unusable rocks? Or actually, right to the side there. Yeah, that's good. Stone output 24. Okay, can we build a tower now? Okay, so where do I want to build this tower? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm dying over here. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we should just build... Oh, what happened to all my stone? Where's all my stone going? That's as high as I can build it. One. Okay. Yeah, because it costs 15 stone otherwise. But I've got people living in here as well, I think. Three out of five, which is good. Okay, yeah, look, see, I'm building a stockpile. See, there it is. So, now are they gonna move that, I guess? Move the stockpile, or move it over to the stockpile? Or does it need, like, road access or something? Something like that. And yeah, they're coming over here to build this tower. Ah, oh, small village. Very nice. Well, maybe I'll just leave it there then, I think, for today. Nice little 35-minute video. So it looks like we're going to be building some defenses here as well. We've got a nice little, little hovel village here. So I'll probably build, like, another well here, and then I can build uh, two more houses there on either side. We've got our treasury room going up. We've got our farms going up. I'm looking to expand our farms out as well and probably put uh, a couple of these, these windmills in as well. 
And then maybe we'll look uh, over here in this very fertile land, this area over here, we could get a couple of orchards in, because looks like we could fit two, uh, about six orchards right in this little area, so might be a good idea, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, apologies for the, the sniffling and the sneezing, but it really can't be helped at, at this stage in the game. Hopefully I'll be better uh, by tomorrow, but if you'd like to see more of Kingdoms and Castles in the future on my channel, be sure to uh, let me know in the comment section, and be sure to like and subscribe for uh, more content. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next one.